It started with a cloning experiment. We messed with nature, and now we're paying the price. We have one last chance. Hi, I'm Richie and welcome to Electric Sheep. This timeline is a walkthrough of our platform. You've probably just watched a short sci-fi trailer called Dolly. Well, this was made on the Electric Sheep platform and I'm going to show you how. Each step is clearly labelled and you can skip around if you'd like. So, let's get started. The first to do is to create a timeline. Click the plus at the top left and give it a name. Then set your project's resolution in the bottom right. If you need help, click the AI button in the top left to ask a question directly to the platform or use Intercom in the bottom right to chat with a human. With Sheep, you can start generating from scratch or you can upload existing media. To upload, choose the media type from the bar on the left and then drag and drop or click to browse from your files. Make sure you've got the right Dropbox and check inside it for the latest uploading specs. Now let's generate something. Click the AI button and let's start with the image panel. Electric Sheep connects to powerful third-party models. Each tab is a function and some functions offer multiple models. If you're new, I'd suggest starting with the default model. Now time to enter your prompt. Now here's a top tip, always enhance your prompt. I took a basic idea and used ChatGPT to enhance it. This also allows me to check all the details I didn't think about, such as style and camera movement. Each model will show the credits that it costs, and you can cross-reference this with your overall balance in the top right. When you're ready, click Generate. If your output isn't quite right, you can tweak the prompt or click Generate again. Then, once you're happy, save it to library. Now let's animate it. Click the magic wand, which is the center AI button, and then when you click on the Image to Video tab, it's there waiting for you. Drop in your enhanced prompt and click Generate. When you're happy with your video, save it to your library. Now let's go to the Video tab. Under Analysis, you'll see your clip. Here you can ask any question, mood, lighting, setting or characters. Moving across to text to video, this is where you'll find your VO models. Text to video works just like text to image, but you'll notice it uses more credits. The VO models are powerful, but are expensive. So keep an eye on your credits. Now let's combine real and generated footage. I shot a short video of me walking out on a balcony. A beautiful view, but it doesn't fit my gritty cyberpunk theme. So I click the capture frame button and send to AI. My prompt instructs it to keep me the same, but to add a massive clearing full of sheep headed soldiers in front of me. Then I click the magic wand on this edited first frame and my original clip to use edit video. I added my enhanced prompt, which asked for a flash of lightning for drama. And here's the result. You can also use this tool to help keep characters consistent. I started with a selfie and asked the model to make me a cyberpunk hero. I used the new frame as a reference for other first frames. I could then use image to video to animate these into consistent shots. Sheep's AI analyzes media when you upload or generate it. You'll find timestamp descriptions as well as shot type, lens info and more. So if you want to find a particular shot, just type in at media and describe what you need. The platform will read the metadata and update your timeline as per your request. It also works with full scripts and storyboards. Here's mine. I wanted an aerial establishing shot, a blurry glimpse of the sheep people to introduce them, and it's done the heavy lifting. Now I can dive into the timeline and tweak the output. Let's edit the timeline. Drag it up to show more channels, zoom in or out with your trackpad or use these buttons, and you can click the keyboard icon to see all the shortcuts. Then double click to adjust Eclipse volume, speed, and animations. You can also control speed in the timeline by holding down Alt and adjusting the length of the clip. Drag your clips around with your cursor or press Command on Mac or Control on Windows to select multiple. Finally, let's add a title. Go to the text tab, select one, and move to where you want it. Double click to edit the text and animations and click style for more aesthetic options. Now I'm ready to export. You've got two options. Click render and when it's finished, you'll find it in this dropdown or click export for Adobe and Resolve to save your media and your XML file locally. And that's a walkthrough. Any other questions, just get hold of the team on Intercom. Thanks for watching.